welcome to Dale's Lane in Rushall, just north of Walsall, the senior non-league club in the Black Country, Rushall Olympic, entertaining Hereford FC yes, tonight. of course. Well, Rushall will start with them, with Jacob Weaver in goal. Captain um, wearing number two this evening is Christian Green. Three is Lewis Hudson. Four, Alex Fletcher. Five, Jordan Brown. Six, Rico Brown. Seven, Samuel McClintock. 8, Alex Moore, 9, Andre Carvalho Landell, 12, Jajane Calambi Masidi, and 15, Mitchell Clark on the bench. For bin. Hereford, as we mentioned, there are a couple of new signings and they make their way onto the bench this evening uh, for tonight's game. Curtis Pond, though, is in goal wearing number 1, Aaron Skinner at 2, Teixeira at 4, Paul Downing, the captain, wearing 6, Yusufu Cisse at 7, Alex Babos at 8, Tope Obadei at 17, Lasana Mendez wearing number 20, Oli Southern 21, Adam Rooney 22 and Kyle Hawkins 28 on the bench. And he walked and wearing his boots, he said he was the substitute goalkeeper this evening as the throw comes in towards the penalty area, cleared away on the line. And Rush will have the opening corner, long throw in from the far side. Oh, what? Didn't say that. That's, uh, whether that yeah. does happen or not, as Rush will yeah. look to break down on the right-hand side, twisting in towards the edge of the penalty area, drops out to the edge of the box, looking for the strike in towards the box as uh, Masidi just curled his effort well wide of goal in the end, initially by Fletcher. Play back out to the left, and this time Skinner will look down the line. Baybos and Skinner combining. Baybos goes for the long attempt from the... about 30 yards away. I'll Show him what, what I'm made of. <laughs> Show them what we're made of. Nibbo's got boots on on the side of the pitch as well, by the way. He's going right wing in the second half with his camera. It'll be interesting. Skinner under a bit of pressure as uh, Clark runs down to the right edge of the box, squares across in towards the penalty area, picked up and turned towards goal. And fired wide by Cavallo Landell. Picking up now as uh, Hereford try and break down the left-hand side. Cissé couldn't quite keep hold of the ball. Mendes will head the ball forward again towards Cissé. Hereford will try and keep the ball on the ground. Cissé runs up to the edge of the final third. Bit of pace about him. Squares across six yards. It drives across the six-yard box as well. As other day, he couldn't make the run in. And that's exactly what uh, Rushall will be looking to do. Switched out to the right-hand side as Green will chase forward up to the edge of the final third. Right-footed, low-driven ball into the box. Downing couldn't quite keep hold of it. Drops nicely. And the right-footed strike from Landell, saved by Pond. Turned away for a corner. As the pitch just drops down, headed forward to, to Shearer. Just drops back into the defensive half. And Downing will look to play out Skinner. Down the left-hand side, loose ball, and it allows Babos free inside the penalty oh. area, but it's well watched by Weaver, who came out to the corner of the box. The penalty area shouts for the offside flag to go up, not given by the linesman on the far side. Played back into the path of Alex Moore. Fletcher down towards Moore again inside the penalty area. Rush will have the opportunity. Hudson was through, and a great challenge from Halkins to knock the ball away. Switch the ball through the middle. No one there, though. Good idea from Tashira to try and play through the gap. One back again. Edge of the box. Drops out to Mendes. Right foot. It's straight. Hits the top of the bar. And bounces over for a goal kick. Penalty error as well. He's thrown high in towards the edge of the box. Dealt with initially. Tashira trying to bounce the ball away. It's a crowded penalty area. Scooped effort from Rico Brown. Well over the bar. Time for Babos, who has to be careful, of course, on a yellow card. Floated in from Clark, headed away at the back. It drops out towards Fletcher on the edge of the deep. Takes a touchdown. Fletcher with the strike, and it's not far away at all. Oh, Shearer shouts for handball. It drops back towards Skinner again. Trying to play the ball down towards Cissé. Back to, to Shearer. Slips almost as he tries to get the right foot across. Curls towards goal. It's flicked on. Oh, and it's just no. hit the side netting. Oh. As Rooney... It was almost destined to go in. Short out to the left, gives the ball away though. Bit of a loose pass and Mercedes can run forward with the ball, gets past Skinner. Mercedes still going, escapes the challenge from sudden inside the penalty area onto his right foot, turns and it's just flashed wide of goal and Hereford escape. The line more will bring the ball up to the edge of the final third. Long ball into the box, it drops nicely to the right hand edge of the penalty area. Mercedes pull back again and Clark with a low driven strike, it was rising. Powerful effort, but into the hands of Pond. Shy of halfway this time, Fletcher through the centre. Nice turn from McClintock out to the left-hand side, and they've got an opportunity inside the penalty area. Hudson deflected shot in towards the box, and is it just about kept in by Pond, though? It's away for a corner. Again, Spennymore, the 4-3 win for Rushall. Again, Clark long throw into the box, not dealt with by Cameron properly. It bounces around and takes a deflection, and away for a corner. It's easily been tapped in. 
Kuyar on corner duties. Players running around inside the box. Played out towards the far post, headed on, and it's in! And Hereford have the opening goal! Midway through the second half, a beautiful corner from Maz Kuyar. Well done, Topper. And it's headed in by Topper Abadei. Wow. What? And the Bulls have the lead. Wow, how about that? Two, three, get, three goals, two, get, two goals. Three games, two goals. <laughs> should have been three and three. But should have been three. Would should. have been three and three. It, it was, should have yeah. been, yeah. yeah. Oh. But, yeah. What a great header oh, at, the far, a at the far post. Fantastic header at the far post. And you know what? It's the, yeah. what? Quality. the quality of the yep. delivery from yep. the free kick yep. was good. And from the corner was even better. Mendes and trying to turn the ball away. Again, Hereford, they do win the ball back, but can see possession. And it's a deflected effort on the way through. And Pond makes the punch clearance away as the shot from Rico Brown came in. It was well over 35 yards away. Free kick from the ball, out on the right-hand side, played towards the left, Cissé missed in the air, might drop to the edge of the box, Brown clears away, there's yes. the full-time whistle! And Hereford with an away victory, a well-fought away victory as well. A goal from Obadei on 70 minutes, the corner from Kuyar. Obadei with a header at the back post, that goal settles all three points for the Bulls, keeps them firmly in the playoff positions for now. The fantastic travelling support can go home happy this evening.